I don't know. What's the worst part about living? People that don't clean up after themselves. You really think that's the worst part? <laughs> yeah. What, what do you think is the worst part? Um, I don't want to talk about it. Do you want to talk about this? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, this is like a therapy session. I yeah, like this, you know? it's good. We're getting it all out, you know? Don't yeah. do that. Okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Um, worst part about living here, I don't know. Not too many bad things. So. No, no bad things. Right. I don't know. A lot of people stay here and you can't take a shower when you want to. Uh, place gets dirty. People have their stuff everywhere. I'm not even complaining, but I guess that would be a bad thing. There, thanks South, we had like 15 people. So there was people. There was around the house. Three Spaniards, tents in, the back. tents in the backyard, like Sergio's in town. There's so many people just in town. Like couches were full, trampoline was full, like anywhere Sick you look. though, because there's something going on yeah. every day. This is where I sleep. Oh, oh, that's simple as crap. Just like one of those like old style studio apartments, I think. It's an instant room. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Oh, gotta clean up my room. And now it's just the hallway again. It's cool, you get to meet good people and um, I don't know, it's, it is, it has its ups and its downs, I guess. Just random people using your bathroom, you know, every time, every morning I have to take, get up and take a shit. There's someone in there no matter what time I get up at it. Eight in the morning or 11 or any time, there's someone in there doing something and it smells like piss. Him and Devin have their own bathroom though, so that's like a pretty big perk, I would say. I didn't wake up once with like without going to the bathroom and being like having there be someone in it. Like. Yeah. Yeah, your bathroom's not like a porta potty, but so it feels pretty <laughs> good. Yeah, hey, I have a story to tell. There was a piece of poo on the fucking carpet, and Sean picked it up, and it was in his fingers, and he was holding poo. Like so much shit on our fucking carpet. That's how many people use our bathroom. Well, no one knew who it was for sure. I mean, no one took a DNA test of the shit, but there was a fucking little turd ball on the carpet. And Jean picked it up because he thought it was like a bean or something to throw it away. And sure enough, it was poop. What? You never heard that? Yeah, I did hear that. The common dirty areas in the house is the, the hallway and the living room. And the, you know, bathroom and kitchen, obviously, just like any house. Never clean dishes. The dishwasher broke. That's it. There's any room that's pretty much always dirty it would be the kitchen yeah pretty much clean what you want to eat off no it doesn't stay clean no people here are lazy it's so frustrating we clean so much and then one day the kitchen is just filthy and then no one wants to touch it and then you're like three days you're cleaning up grime that someone else has left there and sometimes it's weeks and then there's garbage everywhere you'd think that it would wouldn't be that hard to wash a dish off but you know like there's no paper towels so i need to uh Clean the pan with something. So, improvise. <laughs> I moved to Austin and bought a scooter, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I love scooters. Owning a scooter is a good investment, especially in this city. Throw your bike right on the seat, sit right on it. Whose idea was Brand. that? Devin? Is that who got it all started? Hey, you were the guy that first got everyone into scooters. How did it happen? I wrecked my car and I didn't want to have a car anymore and I saw one of those ruckuses and I said I won't need to get one. We paid credits for it. Scooters, uh, I don't have one. It makes me angry at times. They go on for scooter rides and of course, you know, I'm left out. And... He, tr he treats the scooter like it's just like a bike with a motor on it. Like <clears throat> It's, it's run, hard not run, to. Run, run stop signs everywhere. It really, it's really hard not to. I can't say much, I don't have a license. <laughs> I have a license, but I don't have insurance. <laughs> so he doesn't have insurance or a license. I fing run it wrong. Okay. Sometimes it gets pretty loud here. Is that the big round one? Ah! <laughs> Make out that girl too? Oh, I'm not drunk, man. I'm drinking out. Devin's room is right there. And he's I'm sleeping. Not drunk, I'm drinking out. Oh, he's gonna be sleeping for a while. <laughs> Usually happens like every I'll day. drink when I'm like. The weekends get pretty nuts. You know, when 2.30, 3 o'clock comes around, there's gonna be people that come to hang out at the house. You know what I mean? That's a given. It's easy to and get people just, to come to the house. Oh, yeah, for You're, sure. Where are you guys going? Where are you going? <laughs> well, then you wanna follow us? Follow the moped! See you in a minute. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Where did you find find these people? The gas <laughs> Scene after the bar at the house. Sometimes it's fucking chill. 
Come on, see. Sometimes it's not, but when it's not, it's uh, usually pretty crazy. It's a very peaceful house. Um, you know, you like to love peace, you know, good that kind of thing. Do you ever win wrestling no. around in the house? No. I'm usually the one to instigate things, <laughs> and then I'm usually the one to get checked. I don't get hurt. I'm like Big Daddy or whatever. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a habitual line stepper. <laughs> you know, I cross the line, I get checked. At least he it knows happens. It. it happens. It happens to the best of them. <laughs> Bunch of f***ing drunk people hanging out in the house. It's nothing too crazy, really. I think we're just used to it. Yeah. The people, other people come here and they're just like, what the f*** are these kids doing? Like, yeah. <laughs>